Hey everyone, I'm Chris. Welcome to another tactical equipment video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at these, uh, these combat trousers here. These, um, these are actually a, a totally custom made, totally bespoke pair of, well, they're, they're sort of copies of the, uh, the Cry Precision Gen 2 or AC as they're called now. Uh, combat pants for, for you guys over in the States. I'm going to call them trousers because that's what they are. <laughs> yeah. um, they're in a MTP, that's the British issue multi terrain pattern. Um, at the moment, you, you can only you can get these in the you can get the original prize in the, the multi cam. And it's very close, but it's not quite the same. There's a sort of uh, you know, it's, it's I personally like um, to be able to wear the, the proper British issue camo. It's uh, you know, the difference when, when you first look at you know, if I were to hang up some, some multi-cam trousers just here next to the NTP, you're not going to see a massive difference, but you know, I like to collect these bits of kit and you know, I find it interesting. So I thought I'd, uh, when, I, when I saw a guy on one of the, the forums off it went and um, posted up saying he was uh, able to produce some of these, I was, I was pretty intrigued, so uh, when I started talking to him. Um, get the guy, Fert is, uh, I'm not actually sure what, what the guy's lad's name is to be honest, he's, um, he, he's a young guy but he's, uh, he's, his skill with a sewing machine is pretty impressive, that's for sure. Um, he, he got, his, name, his first name's Ed, the shortened version of his first name is Ed. Uh, on some of the forums he goes by the name Eklam, E-K-L-A-M. Uh, he's actually got a, a Facebook page for his um, small little bespoke tactical gear company that he runs, or whatever, I say a company, it's just himself, but he, he has a little Facebook page, uh, I'm going to put the link to that in the description of the video, please do check it out, give it a like, because the guy is an absolute top, top bloke, really can't say, um, can't give him enough praise uh, from the time uh, I spent communicating with him while he was putting these together, and he's actually working on something else for me at the moment, and like I say, can't can't praise him highly enough, really, really nice guy, and that shows in his workmanship, that really does. So like I say, these are a copy of the Cry Precision AC Gen 2 combat trousers um, in the multi throwing pattern, what they're constructed of, uh, it's, they're the, uh, it starts off as an issue pair of personal clothing system PCS, which is the replacement for CS95 uh, MTP trousers. And basically, takes them totally apart. He adds some uh, some 500 deli air multicam cordura to reinforce the knees. Get some nice, uh, good quality sort of a sort of a foliage green thread matches it well. Um, adds a few little offcuts of the, the fabric of the NTP here and there. A little bit of padding up in the up in the upper sections to replicate what the, the Cry originals have. A bit of Velcro here and there. Um, and just spends a lot of time with a, uh, well I mean I, I didn't see him, I didn't actually get a chance to see him at work, but all I can imagine is, is he spends a lot, a lot of hours at, you know, sitting at a sewing machine with a pair of scissors, um, you know, just, uh, just working away and producing this. So I'll go over a few of the basics first. Now, one thing you might notice, um, for, well, for starters, the, the knee area is the, the main difference. Now, the cries hang, the kneecaps, they are mounted a little bit lower. Um, in practice, I have I have used these uh, in already, the MTP one. I found in practice that the, the cry knees, the, the difference is pretty minimal. Um, the, I've got some cry knee caps, knee pads in the these ones at the moment and um, but I did have the Cry Gen 3 pads but these are the Gen 2. I had a set of the Gen 3s inside the, uh, the custom trousers and they, they fit um, and they secure really well. They've got the on the inside of the, the knee pouches they've got the velcro that corresponds to the velcro on the actual knee pads. So that's good. Um, slight differences in the materials. The, the Cry products use a sort of ripstop um, 
tightly because there's like a grid pattern in it. Whereas this is based off actual um, British issue military clothing. So the material is different. Um, I find this stuff to be slightly more comfortable. It does. It doesn't look quite as nice because if you wash it and don't iron it, it's um, well. It just looks like something that's not been ironed, like a t-shirt. Whereas uh, this, this grey stuff just hangs without ironing it. But are you going to be ironing this sort of thing? Of course not. So pretty minor concern really. And like I say, it is nice and comfortable. Now I know when when uh, Ed first posted up. Uh, on one of the forums and he's asked, you know, he was looking for interest, would anyone want a set of these? A lot of people expressed the concern that the, the PCS, the MTP fabric, the issue stuff is wafer thin. Now that is, some of the first runs of MTP that were issued out in Afghan were, were an arid climate type version and they were pretty much see-through. This is, this is not that material, it's, um, it's you know, in terms of the actual weight density of it, the thickness, it's, it's just the same as um, if you're familiar with CS95, with DPM, the, the basic trousers and the, the lightweight shirt, it's the same sort of thickness as that. You know, pretty, I would say in terms of strength, overall durability is pretty much going to stand up just the same as the cry stuff. The area where these do sort of excel and I think they, they beat the cries is uh, is as I mentioned in the area of the knees. Now this is an area that's going to take, you spend a lot of time kneeling, you're going to take a lot of punishment. So whereas on the cry ones, all this, this section of material is just exactly the same as all the rest of the trousers. This is 500 denier cry precision official multi-cam for Dura, which is the same stuff, if you're not familiar with that's just um, the same stuff that all your, your molly pouches are made out of, and you're quite a thick tough fabric. The stretch panels um, don't have as much actual stretch in them, it's not much compared to the cry stuff, but then it is far, far tougher. This stuff, like if all it would take is one shot, a bit of stick or a stone or whatever to poke through that, that cry stretch fabric, it's not very strong or thick. This stuff is double layered, very tough, it's gonna, you know, it's really gonna last. Um, but other than that, um, the, what you know, the main key that I want to get across is the, other than those those few minor differences I've highlighted, he has done an absolutely perfect job in replicating the originals. Now the, these are a 32 inch waist where these are 30, um, so you, you may notice that as well. But despite those very few things, the you know I could I could take that camera off the tripod it's on right now and hold it just right and go really look close at, down to every stitch on every little area and you you would struggle to tell the difference you would struggle to tell that these haven't rolled out of the factory at cry you really really would I can promise you that now um, I don't think it would make for a particularly entertaining video if I just took the camera and just held it there and just really slowly went there's this stitch here and if you can compare it to that stitch yeah. That wouldn't be very interesting, but please do take my word, guys. The the actual workmanship on these is fantastic. I when I first unpackaged them, I was expecting to find you know maybe bits that weren't slightly not quite sewn together correctly or um, small imperfections, and I just don't. I, you know, I've spent a lot of time myself just really just looking closely and just checking over all the little Velcro fasteners, all the all the Velcro parts on the, on the pockets, all the, the lids on the pockets, um, the, the belt loops. Just, uh, the, it does have the the uh, the knee pad height adjustments as well. There's a there's a length of fabric that goes all the way from the area around the kneecaps, goes all the way up here into your, your pocket, and you can um, pull on those. You, you'll, you'll see on the prize here. That's what you've got. I'll bring that a little bit closer to the camera. Just this little buckle and a, step, a section of uh, section material that goes all the way down the trouser to the kneecap, so you can adjust the height of the kneecaps. That's all in there. All the features are there. Um, all the same pocket layout. Um, when it comes to the, the the actual waist area, 
we've got the same on the prize, we've got a Velcro and a zip closure on the, on the custom ones, we've got that same Velcro, YKK zip, very important, good colour match, very nicely done, sewn together perfectly. Uh, belt loops at the same diameter, you've got these little hanging sections as well if you wanted to put you know, some paracord or hang or whatever you might want to hang just around there around your waist. If we spin them around again we've got the stretch panel in the back we've got this slightly raised section um, I'm, I'm not sure why Cry originally designed that but it doesn't work uh, this is actually padded out there's a little bit of a little bit of foam on the inside there which does make your, uh, your life a bit more comfortable. Got the same Velcro closed little back pockets. The, uh, this, the main side cargo pockets, they've got the baffles on them. Um, what that does is means that, uh, that basically a pocket will sit nice and nice and flat when it's empty and keep low profile, but when you put stuff in it, it has the room to expand outwards from the, the main body of the trouser, which is uh, a, a very important feature. Um, they're all sewn to the same spec. You've got your uh, adjustment cinches here, down around the back of the knee area, and then on the ankles, just the same as the uh, as the original. You've got your knee, knee adjustment and then the ankle closure. Yeah, again, as I say, brilliant craftsmanship. Really, really, really impressed that someone can just take, you know, a, the basic standard issue trousers cut them up totally, you know, change them around. Um, I, I know I couldn't do something like this. So, and we'll quickly finish off, just show you show you a bit of a close-up, because I've had, I've done videos on different bits of camo uniform before, and people have told me that the gear I own isn't what I say it is. So, in case anyone's going to say, oh, they're not, they're not NTP, they're just multi-cam. Well, if you can't tell that's NTP fabric, then you don't know what MTP fabric actually looks like. And what what you will notice if you look, if you do take a second to analyse, and you can see the difference in the pattern between the knees there, which are multicam, and uh, and the rest of the material, which is the uh, which is the MTP. It's kind of similar to DPM in a way. And if you look if you look at DPM there, you've got this sort of these get lots of these little spots, this kind of an extended shape. Whereas multicam is lots of little little blobs, and then MTP, but it's a bit more similar to, to DPM, similar shapes. Obviously, different colour palette. So there we go. Uh, again, um, as I said, I'm going to put the, the link for the Facebook page for the guy who makes these. Um, I'm going to put it down in the description of the video. The reason I've not mentioned the price is that he is currently, there's only about two or three pairs of these currently in existence that he's made. Um, I think he's working on another set right now. It took it did take him a couple of months um, to make mine, which is fine because he's studying, uh, he's, well I'm not going to give out all his personal info, but he, he's studying a very difficult degree at a very prestigious university and yet somehow still finds time to do this kind of thing blows my mind really does. So do check him out. Uh, like I say, he's working on some stuff for me right as, as we're speaking at the time of making this video. So don't don't anyone go interrupting him because he's making pouches for me. But <laughs> do check out the stuff that he has made in the past because when he is free, if you're lucky enough to um, have, have a, an idea for some custom kit that you want made and because you can't buy it, and if he is able to do it, and you're lucky enough to catch him when he is um, when he's available, then uh, you'll be very lucky, that's for sure, because uh, the work he does is excellent. So, uh, if you want to see more videos like these guys, um, check out the Facebook page that I run for this channel, um, or Twitter if, you, if you're on that. If, if you're like me and you check Facebook more than your YouTube, or it's rigged up on your phone somehow, I know a lot of people do that. Um, and give that a like because as soon as I upload a video onto YouTube, it goes on the Facebook, as well as a few other little interesting bits and pieces now and again. Uh, I, 
I appreciate everyone watching, really do. I couldn't, you know, if I didn't get all the views and comments and thumbs up and good stuff like that, then there wouldn't be much point carrying on making the videos. So thanks to everyone for that. As I say, I appreciate it. Um, more videos to come, as always. So thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time.